Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, my brothers and sisters. I hope all is well with you in the Lord. Welcome to my channel. For those of you that are not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you don't want to subscribe, that's okay too. But at least, you know, give me a thumbs up. That will help my video spread out to other brothers and sisters in Christ, okay? So today I have a brief word from the Lord. It's not going to be for every person that watches, but for the one that is watching today, this needs to saturate in your spirit. I hear the Lord saying that this word concerns a short period of time that God is allotting to his chosen ones, to his beloved, to his sons and his daughters to achieve something good, hallelujah, in their lives. Praise the living God. So as we are moving through the month of Av or the month of August, we are in a new era of acceleration. The Lord is definitely speaking loud and clear and he is speaking more clearly to those of us that are connected to God and you have a spiritual ear to listen. With this new season of breakthroughs and seeing our promises in view, right? I am not surprised that God is revealing this to his beloved children on today. And guys, one of the most wonderful things that I heard God say in these most recent days is that there is a divine opportunity in our midst. God says that there is a rare opportunity to seize or to take hold of something in your life. Praise God that only God himself can give you. So with that being said, you guys know my stance. Don't come to me about this word. Don't leave your questions in the comment section up under the video. Go to God concerning this word. If you have questions, if you don't like something that's being said here, if something doesn't sound right, or if you don't feel right, or you're looking for confirmation, whatever, right? Concerns that you have about this message, go to God, okay? I am just the messenger and God instructs me to send you back to him if you have questions. And also it's our responsibility to test the spirit. According to first John chapter four, we should be testing the spirit behind all prophetic messages. Praise God. And I even have a video in the description box that will help to give you some tips on how to approach God concerning this word. Okay. People of God, the Lord says many of you have enemies in your life right now that are causing you to miss your divine opportunities because you don't recognize who this enemy is or who the enemies are. Why? Because oftentimes we, we, we only see our enemies as being people or vessels of Satan that try to impose wickedness towards us, right? But we miss the fact that sometimes the enemy or the enemies are right in front of us, hiding in plain sight, which also contribute to us not being able to seize windows of opportunities from God, amen? And somebody says, well, Shanika, how do we know the windows of opportunity are available to us. What is this divine opportunity that you speak of? And so you know me, I'm going to ask you to come to scripture. Let's go to the book of Revelation chapter three, verse eight. If you have your Bibles, come with me. This is the King James version. And the word says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it for thou hast a little strength and has kept my word and has not denied my name. People of God, clearly, okay, this passage of scripture indicates that for those of us that love God, and confidently profess our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in our lives, we are entitled to receive whatever blessings, whatever promises, whatever gifts, or anything else that the Lord has stored up for us. Amen? But, yes, there is a but. To the contrary of what was just stated, the Lord is also saying that this unexpected enemy or enemies are going to help many of you miss your divine opportunities 
or miss your windows of opportunity if you do not get rid of them. So with that being said, people of God, I am going to go ahead and release the word. The Lord says to listen carefully. He says, hear the word of the Lord. So this is what God is saying. He says, hearken my voice, my beloved children, and know that as of today, I, the Lord, your God have opened the door to your divine opportunities to receive something you need and desire from me, says the Lord. And I have made available to you favorable opportunities that you must recognize and act upon quickly, says the Lord. This critical window of opportunity, this short period of time that I have allotted for you will help you to achieve a desired outcome that you have been waiting for and that you are not quite aware of, says the Lord. But listen, sons and daughters, I see enemies that are in your midst. I see perpetrators among you that you must rid yourselves of this day, says the Lord. There are many enemies around you, but the ones that I will point out to you this day are that of your own motivations, such as your lack of taking action when I prompt you, your hidden greed that is in your heart and in your mind, your procrastination and your wrong mindsets says the Lord. When I tell you to take action, beloved, I mean for you to take action. Just as I told my son Moses to go to Pharaoh and say to him, thus says the Lord, let my people go that they may serve me. That is also what I expect my sons and daughters to do, says the Lord. When I tell you to throw away your greed or your love for money, I need for you to obey as my word says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. But if you seek me first, the Lord your God, then all things will be added unto you to include my riches and glory from my kingdom, says God. When I tell you to stop procrastinating, that is what I mean, says the Lord. Why? Because you do not know when your last day will be here. You do not know when I might take your breath for what is your life, says God. It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then it vanishes away, says the Lord. And finally, when I tell you to shift your mindsets, I mean, I want you to have confidence in who I call you to be, says the Lord. Remember what I have said to you before I formed you in the womb. I knew you before you were born. I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nation, says the Lord. These are your enemies, as I have stated and revealed to you, says the Lord. And you must rid yourselves of them so that you can receive what only I can give you, says God. These divine opportunities are hands crafted by me, which cannot be duplicated. They cannot be manufactured. They cannot be earned by your work, says the Lord, but only I can give them to you to achieve those hidden desires of your heart for a marriage partner, to achieve the desires of your heart, to be well, to be healed, to be restored, to achieve the desires of your heart, to have a family, to be in the presence of your family, for you to have children, for you to have relationship with your children, and also the calling and the purpose that I have on your life says the Lord, my beloved sons and daughters, my window of opportunities are available to you. And all you have to do is hearken my voice and listen to me, says God. I will lead you in the ways that you should go to be successful and not defeated, says God. The Lord says to repeat that. He says, my beloved children, my beloved sons and daughters, my windows of opportunities are available to you this day. And all you have to do is hearken my voice and listen to me, says the Lord. 
I will lead you in the ways that you should go to be successful, to get the victory and not be defeated, says the living God. Wow, people of God, what an amazing word from the Lord. There is nothing for me to add to God's word except this. Trust God, sisters and brothers, and allow the Holy Spirit to transform you during your journey with him. Amen. Allow no other voice except for God, that small, still voice to speak into your life, to speak into your ears, because it is that voice that will wholeheartedly and in holiness and in righteousness reveal, correct, and lead you in the direction that you need to go to obtain the victory as the Lord spoke today and the divine opportunities that are available to us as God is releasing them. Yes, he uses the prophets and the teachers and the pastors and the service of the Lord to speak into your heart, but that is only a means of guiding you back to our Father in heaven to receive what it is that he himself has ordained for your life. Do you hear me? <laughs> so that is the word from the Lord today. People of God, before I get off of here, let us say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you so much for this word. Lord, we thank you for loving us more than we love our own selves. We thank you, Lord, that we as your beloved children, the chosen ones, the people of God, have an opportunity to receive divine opportunities from the windows of heaven. Father, we thank you that you have revealed to us those enemies that were hidden in plain sight. We pray, Lord God, that you will speak to our hearts and our minds. Show us how we shall rid ourselves of these enemies that could possibly be deterring us from receiving the blessings, receiving the promises and everything else that you have for us, Lord God. We thank you that you lead us and guide us. We thank you, Lord, that you're going to tell us exactly what we need to do. We pray, Lord, that you will continue to protect us, that you will continue to be our shield. And Father, that you will continue to dispatch those angels to surround us, to minister to us. Father, we ask that you will never leave our side, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father God, we want to give you all your glory. We want to give you honor and we love you, Lord. We want to give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray amen and amen. So people of God, thank you for subscribing to Shanika Uniting for Christ. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. If it is the Lord's will, I'll be back here sometime soon to serve you guys, okay? I hope that you all are enjoying the Bible Readings With Me series, as well as answering your questions for you on my platform. Share this video, okay? Share the love. Give this video a thumbs up, all right? And I love you guys. I want you to have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. Bye.